So now in this video, we're going to look at the bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. We have the NPN version there and the PNP version over there. So this video is more about having, helping you read the schematic diagram. So when it comes to the bipolar junction transistor switch schematic, you'll notice one thing, the load, whatever it is, is on the collector side. So that's why I kind of simplified the load by just putting a resistor there with load uh, written next to it. Whatever the load isn't uh, terribly important. The main thing though is that the load will set how much current actually flows through the transistor coming up. Now we uh, have to take whatever that current is going to be. So let's say it's 10 milliamps of current. If the transistor has a gain of 100, which the uh, 2N3904 probably does, have that much at least under most con uh, circumstances then you need about one one hundredth of the current going from base to emitter so that's how you control when the transistor turns on we have a switch to give the full voltage across the resistor or no voltage across the resistor right now it's off no current flow from base to emitter no current flow from collector to emitter the load is off and uh, so if we close the switch though current will flow again we can keep it low uh, probably one one hundredth of the uh, current we expect from collector to emitter but uh, once we close that switch and that current flows then the transistor will be conducting fully because the load will be limiting current when it's conducting fully that's called saturated that means the transistor is on fully it's not limiting current and when there's no base to emitter current flow there's no collector to emitter flow we call that cut off we have the power supply set to 5 volts and the output is on. We come to the breadboard and for my load I decided I will put an LED in series with a 1 kilo ohm resistor the positive supply. So it only let through about a couple milliamps of current. We have a 2N3904 right here. I know the number won't show up on there. But uh, we got the pin layout, emitter to the left, base in the middle, collector to the right. So we want the emitter to ground if I swivel it this way. Now the emitter is to ground, the base is in the middle there, not connected to anything, and the collector is to the load. Remember you gotta make sure the LED is in the right direction. Long lead anode towards positive, short lead the cathode towards the negative. So right now it's off, there's no base current. So now from the uh, switch that's connected to the positive supply on the other side we have a resistor. So this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor, 10,000 ohm resistor. It's going to let plenty current through to turn the LED on fully. And you can see here if I touch it, my body is actually producing a little current. But the LED is not on completely. That's how bright it is on completely. So if you don't do enough current, that's called the active region. The transistor is conducting, but uh, not fully. At least not fully as far as the LED is concerned. And now the transistor is conducting fully as far as the LED is concerned that's saturated and this is cut off that's the NPN bipolar junction transistor switch the PNP bipolar junction transistor works the same way except for polarities are opposite so we'll have the emitter to the positive supply now and the collector is towards the negative supply ground usually you call it and for the load again we'll have an LED and a resistor make sure you put the LED in the right way it's also polarized but in case it works on the same uh, basic principle. So we're going to use the 2N3906, which I have right here. And when you look at the pin layout, left pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, right pin is the collector. So if we swivel it this way, facing the opposite way that we did with the NPN bipolar junction transistor, we will have the emitter at the uh, top. And uh, so I'll connect the middle pin to the base there. And you can see my body again is given a false signal because when I press the switch, I'll try to get that glow going. Now you can see the LED is fully on. Also note to turn the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor on, we actually give it a lower voltage than the emitter right there. So now the current is going, when we close the switch, a small current going from emitter to base to uh, ground there, remember the switch is closed, allows a large current to go from emitter to collector through the load and to ground. And finally, these simplified schematics are basically to make it easier for you to understand how a particular circuit works and is put together. They don't give you specific components because that's up to you to decide. So one thing to be aware of, 
with the uh, 2N3904 or the 2N3906. Remember, current's going in the opposite direction with the two of them. But in any case, you want to limit that current going through the collector, which is also uh, going through the emitter plus the uh, base to emitter current. But in any case, you want to limit that to no more than 200 milliamps. So you probably want to stay like 100 milliamps or less to be safe. And then a uh, total power dissipation, the voltage across the base to emitter and the collector to emitter times the uh, current going through the emitter to a base and the uh, collector to emitter. You multiply both of those together, but pretty much it is the uh, same current going, the same power going from collector to emitter because remember that has the most power. But in any case, the total power dissipation is, uh, according to the data sheet that I saw, uh, if it's not getting too hot, is about 625 milliwatts. And uh, so you want to stay about halfway below that. So uh, we cover power in a lot of other videos. I'm not going to go into much more detail on that. That's about it. Just make sure when uh, you're building your own circuits, you don't exceed the power rating of anything or the current rating of anything. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. If you can donate, I have links down below and uh, that would help out a ton. But uh, just watching videos is helpful too. I appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video.